hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Jenny so guys in today's video I'm taking you guys to old Belize yeah so let's go guys whoops Honestly guys, when we are coming here, we never expected that it's going to rain like the, sh the sun was shining so bright like then when we get close to Old Belize and we are so shocked to see rain, honestly, like guys, we plan to swim and all that but yeah, um, nothing special, we really had a lot of fun, like a lot of fun because the rain later stopped and all that so let's go in guys and see how the place looks like Can you see? Even this horse is wearing marks. You see? He's, he's protecting himself. <laughs> For when you are going in and when you are coming out. So guys, this is the entrance. This is, I love this this natural look. Oh sorry. No problem. Wow, this is beautiful. What is thank you come again good believe so guys I love this <laughs> guys all these pots are the pots used in the olden days so some of the things you see here are the things used in the olden days so this is how Belizeans used to cook in the olden days just like the africans so yeah so you have to wear your marks before is it that way mm -hmm. so this is where you wash your hand Oh, 
So all these things are used during the olden days, right? So guys, all these things are used during the during the olden days. Now we need Yeah. What? Guys, so I saw this thing here. They still use this in Nigeria. This um this is called typewriter. They still use it in Nigeria. And they still use this too in Nigeria. So guys, you can see all these things, all this iron that we use in the villages. You can see there. And typewriter. Type. And this is used during the war. I don't know what is it. Well, you know what is it? So this is mortar. Like when you want to grind something. We still use it in Nigeria. This is a trumpet. They use it during the war or during the olden days. All these things are used during the olden days. Though some people still use it now. Oh guys, I love this chair. This chair is so beautiful. And this, this there's a young lady here reading. She's preparing for her exam. <laughs> Oh my and I know you guys know what this is. This is gotten from the head of the cow. We call it Okuku. I don't know the English name. And this is some old stuff they use during the old time. All of them are here. You can see them. Yeah, the place is so this is so lovely. Sorry. I don't know. Open. This is this looks nice. <laughs> so here when you come here they have um train ride is for ten USD above. They have the one for five years and they have the one that is free. Yeah. So this is the train here. This is the train. This is it. This is the seats. This is it. This is how the train looks like. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> but I'll say it <laughs> when I'm ready. I love this chair. It's so traditional. It's beautiful. And I love this calf here. I don't know if you guys can see it. This is a human face. I think he's crying. I'm sorry. And so this is where the train will come out from. And they have some stuff here. They have waterfall they have the Maya. this is the Maya temple this is sugar mill all these things are in the list here this is the sawmill scene this is um, 1890s steam tractor while this is the city in 1910 so all the things they use before their colonization they still keep them I know you guys will still remember this. I think my grandpas have this. We still have, we still use all these lamps in Africa, especially those in the rural side. Then this sewing machine I still use up to now. Uh, this is old sewing machine that the women of Belize and the Mayas were using to sew clothes. You guys know this bell. Even some Catholic church still use this kind of bell. And these radios and this. This TV is watching. So, guys, we are moving.
so guys we're about to um use the train right now so yeah because years ago trains run through um the jungles of belize that's their means of transportation welcome to belize train fights we are very fortunate in belize to have almost 1 million acres of rainforest and wetlands under different types of conservation management this is important for two main reasons Firstly, it will be there for future generations to enjoy. And secondly, thousands of insects, birds, reptiles, animals, and many varieties of trees and plant life have a safe place to call home. Belize has a large variety of ecosystems, making our country very unique. For generations, these precious ecosystems have provided food, water, building materials, and medicine for all people. Belize also has an extensive network of cave systems. Over 150 miles of caves have been mapped, with many more still to be explored. One of these cave systems, known as ATM, which is short for Akul to the Chilmukal, has been named one of the most sacred caves in the world by the National Geographic. Our next stop is Amaya City. civilization was a very strong culture that rose to its climax and descended to its collapse in a period of 4,000 years from 2500 BC to 1500 AD. To your left is a temple where priests and the elite would live. To your right is a typical kitchen structure and another for sleeping. This is where the general population would live. The Maya domesticated plants, corn was the base of most of their food. They raised stimulants, honeybees, and traded cotton, honey, flint, salt, feathers, and jade. The Maya developed their own calendar, using advanced astronomy and mathematics. The ancient Maya believed that their universe consisted of three layers. The watery underworld was Shibalba, the place of fright. In the middle was earth, four-sided and floating in an ancient sea. This was the height of the Maya civilization and the size and number of the large temples and the palaces grew. It is estimated that up to 2 million Maya people lived in Belize during the <laughs> Sugarcane was introduced into the northern district of Corozal in 1848 by Mexican immigrants fleeing the caste war and was grown in small amounts for sugarcane, rapadora, and molasses. However, it wasn't until the arrival of the American Confederates in southern Belize in 1865 that this industry took off. This sugar mill on display on your right was made in Louisiana and brought in by the Confederates. East Indian indentured laborers were brought in to work on these farms and would remain settled to become one of the major ethnic groups in southern Belize, referred to as Kuli Indian. Today, the industry is comprised of two big factories, one in the north and the other in the west of Belize. Over 5,000 independent farming families depend on this industry. To your left is the Chicle camp in the jungle with real sapodilla trees. Charlie the Chiclero oh. is tapping the tree for its sap. Chewing gum originated from the Sapodilla tree. This large tropical tree grows throughout the northern lowlands and central Belize. The life of a Chiclero was tough as they worked in remote jungle locations. Insect bites, encounters with poisonous snakes and other dangerous animals were a daily occurrence. 
Falling from trees was common, and getting to hospital quickly was near impossible. A chiclero like Charlie here would climb to the top of the tree using spikes on his feet, a rope around his waist, and a machete in his hand. Once on top, he would proceed to make slanting gashes into the bark, working his way to the bottom of the tree. The sap would drain to the bottom, where a wax-lined bag would collect it. Once a large amount was collected, it would be cooked in huge iron pots, then poured into wooden molds that were sized to produce 25-pound blocks of chicle. These blocks would be shipped to Wrigley Company in Chicago, Illinois, for further processing into delicious chewing gum, such as Juicy Fruit and Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. To your left is the chicle wow. camp in the jungle. Cutting of logs took place in the dry season. Gangs of up to 150 men would go inside the jungle and set up camps. Huntsmen would locate the premium timber, then axemen like Joe to your left would cut it down. To cut above the white buttress roots, a platform called a barbecue was built. Once a tree was felled, they were loaded onto trailers and were then pulled by oxen trains or steam tractor to the river's edge. When the rainy season began, the rivers would rise and float all the logs down to Belize City. Closer to the city, the logs would be chained together from one side of the river to the other. This was called a boom. The boom kept the logs from going out into the forestry department that manages our timber resources to ensure sustainability. <coughs> We are now in a typical Garifuna setting next to the sea. The Garifuna are descendants of West African, Central African island Carib, and Arab people. They arrived in the early 19th century, settling on the southern coast of Belize. Drumming is an integral part of the culture. Their music, Carl Punta, would become the nationally recognized music of Belize. The costume above the stairs is for the Jankana dance ceremony that is celebrated on the last Sunday of the year. The Garifuna culture always resisted slavery and the Jankuna dance embodies that resistance. Traditionally, Garifuna foods are based on ground foods, vegetables, and marine produce. However, the single most important food is cassava, also known as yuca. The process of making cassava bread is arguably the most important tradition practiced by the Garifuna people. We celebrate Garifuna Settlement Day on the 19th of November. This national holiday was founded by Thomas Vincent Trammers, who was a visionary leader for the Garifuna people. We are now on North Front Street, Belize City, circa 1910, when Belize was a colony of England. Ships coming for logwood, sugar, chicle, or logs would bring many European and North American products to ballast these large sailing vessels, and they would load them with bricks which they sold in Belize. Many buildings in Belize are built with red bricks, hundreds of years old. 
through the peaceful efforts of the father of our nation, the Right Honorable George Cale Price. The ladies achieved independence from England on the 21st of September, 1981. of your stay. The train will be coming to a stop shortly. Please be careful as you exit the train.